What's up with y'all, man? We back with another one. I had to come outside, man. It's feeling good. Got a nice breeze. It's a beautiful day, man. Feeling good, looking good. If you're new to the channel, press that subscribe button. I appreciate all y'all. Salute. Make sure you leave likes, comments, share it around. Let's get it in the algorithm. But yeah, I'm going to start a new series on my page basically saying their artists fall off. Now, today, we're going to start with Chief Key. Now, a lot of people say Chief Key fell off. In my opinion, he has a cult following. So if people really rock with Chief Keith, he going to always sell. Chief Keith is going to always sell no matter what happens, no matter if his music is fire or if his music is trash. He has that image with the dreads, the long dreads, like just the, gangst, the whole gangster image. He started that. Excuse me. Chief Keith deserves a lot of credit for the work that he's put in. He don't really get a lot of credit because he don't really never ask for it. He never was like, oh, I'm the voice of the, uh, of Chicago, like Dirk say, or like how Dirk be like, he the voice of Chicago, which in my opinion, he not. Chief, he was never like that. He was never the, the Boston type. He just always stayed in his lane. Now, he started in what, 2012? He was like 15, 16. He started young, and he pretty much just boosted the whole music scene in Chicago. I'm not saying he was the first rapper to come out of the rack, but he definitely blew up and then everybody kind of followed after him so i feel like he's a great artist don't get me wrong he has his own style nowadays he's switching it up with the auto tune and this and that me personally i don't really care for it but i do listen to his old music he just dropped it what december of last year he just dropped the album and like i said i like chief key because he always stayed in his lane soon as he made it out of chicago he moved to la or he moved to cali and he never went back he never turned back a lot of artists in Chicago ended up passing away because they either ended up staying in Chicago knowing it's a, like the most dangerous city in the country or they ended up coming back and ended up getting killed like that. Once Chief left, it was a wrap. He always stayed out of drama. It's really no drama. Yeah, he started the Tuka disc and that pretty much set a trend. But as far as rap beef and this and that, he's never involved in that. He don't really do too many interviews. You might see him here and there, but he's not like all in the lights like that he doesn't really have the labels backing him he's pretty much just on his own and that's why a lot of people think he fell off or say he fell off because he's not in the lights like that anymore but in my opinion he never really fell off i feel like chief keith can never fall off just for the simple fact that he's a legend in his own right and also the image like i said like the the dreads he started all that everybody wanted to wear dreads everybody wanted to wear these different type of clothes and everything and then you had uh fredo that was with him rp to him like his whole team they doing good so yeah chief keith in my opinion he can't fall off man he's just a legend i ain't saying like he top five or nothing like that but he definitely is a legend and he deserves more credit now the fact that he not mainstream no more it people said that hurt his career but i feel like in his opinion, he good. He already made all the big money. He already went on his run. Like, he was dropping mixtapes. He was dropping albums, like the Finally Rich album. He was dropping Bang, like Bang Part 3. He had hit songs, of course, like Finito, like that can still be played today. So it's like Chief Keef is established in the rap game. He only like, what, 24, 25, 26. He's still young, but he like a young OG. He done, he birthed a lot of rappers nowadays. Like a lot of rappers got their style from him. He looked up to like Lil Wayne, Gucci, stuff like that. So Chief Keef, he, He's like definitely, he definitely a factor in the game. I look at him kind of like a shark. Like he don't really care for the attention like that, but he'll come up, he'll come up to the surface every now and then, but he's not like just attracted to the lights. He's not really, I wouldn't even say a people person, but you're not going to catch him on every scene. Like you got to look for Chief Key. And I, and I respect that about him. I respect that. He be doing his own thing. He is his own lane. He making his own bread. He already got famous. He already made all that type of bread. And now he really just chilling. He just coasting. And he the type of artist that no matter if he put, he don't have to put out no more music for the rest of his career. And he's still going to be relevant. He's still going to be listened to. His music still going to be streamed. So me personally, I don't feel like Chief Key fell off. I can see why people say he did or why they feel like he did just before just because of the simple fact that he not mainstream no more but nah he definitely still good he definitely still decent if y'all haven't checked out his interviews go check him out it's not that many of them so it's like it's a whole vibe whenever he do do interviews because he don't really he's not really sociable like that now i forgot the term that is used but he's he has a condition it start with an a it's like um asparges like asparges syndrome syndrome or something like that it's like in the family of like the ADHD or the autism family, like 
but he has this condition where basically he's like socially awkward like how a child would be around people like that's how he is like he's not really like a social butterfly you could say like say Dirk, like you have how you see Dirk always in the cameras and in the lights and he this and that. Chief Keith, he shies away from that. Like the light comes to him, he don't go to the light. And uh yeah, it affects the way he talks and all that type of stuff. So yeah, I rock with Chief Keith, man. He a legend. I don't care what nobody say, he's definitely a legend. Like he put Chicago on the map. He left, he never came back. He's just smart. You could tell he's smart. He's smart. And every time somebody in Chicago pass away, who do they mention? They say Chief Keith. They be like, dang, Chief Keith was smart because he always moved. He out, he moved away and never came back. Like he just one of them people. He was like ahead of his time. So that's my take on it. As far as Chief Keith, we're going to be doing more artists. Y'all let me know what artists y'all want me to talk about. Do y'all think that fell off? But yeah, shout out to Chief Keith, man. We out.